Hey. Oh, hi. Hey, how are you? Um, can I get the rejuvenator today? Huh? Thanks. One rejuvenator coming up. Sounds great. <laughs> I think my hair is jammed in the machine. Take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. Just calm down. Just put your hands. Yeah, that. There, there you go. go. Just hold that. Take All a deep right. breath. Should we smash Just the take glass? A deep breath. No, it's um, it's plastic. It's okay. I have this friend of mine. He's super smart. He can do anything. He's like MacGyver. Really? Yeah, he's like MacGyver. You want me to call him? Please I... do that. Okay, call. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. I can't help it, okay, my body just does that. I know you're trying to help, just let, let, let me ride this out, okay? Is this normal? I don't know, I don't know him that I'm well. I'm cool, I'm cool. Joaquin, you may have to cut your hair. I don't think we can do that, are there other options? What, what's your idea? You're the doctor? There we go, oh, okay, there we go. Now you can hold on to that. Let me plug this back in. My wife, she, she cuts my hair. She can do your hair. You know, she can just come here and, and, and like, no mess. Hey, Joaquin, this is my friend Ben. He's a fireman. My wife also cuts his hair. I don't want to look. Rejuvenators for everybody. I'll try it. these tickets again? Oh, I won them in a silent auction. Oh, when you got them, I assumed we were seeing a lecture about, you know, pioneers, people who blaze trails, settlers. You know, I'm a trailblazer. I'm the first woman in Portland to ever wear jeans. Oh. Incredible, look at them. They're so good at this. These people are the best at what they do. It's very be balletic. It's, it's, it's like dance. I like it. What is this? I guess it's over. No, I, I think it's, it's just a, a time out. Oh, look at this. Who are they? What is this? Why aren't they barely wearing anything? This is a private dance. This is a dance you do in your backyard under the full moon. You know, this isn't something you do in the middle of a court. No. Cover your eyes, everybody. This isn't a show. Does anyone want to see my master's degree or my collection of books? Let them speak. Allow them to talk. This is a crime. I, I, I want to speak to someone. Let's, let's talk to management. Yeah, we have to. I'm glad you guys came in today, because anybody that comes to a Blazer game deserves my interest and my support. Great. But I really think this is a conversation for our choreographer. It just seemed odd that the only women on the floor were there as entertainers. They could have helped with the ball. There were times where the ball was dirty and needed cleaning. Well, that's a little sexist, don't you think? No. What she was saying was, if it was dirty, some of the men could have cleaned the ball while they dunked and threw the ball around. Oh, oh okay. Um, I don't know how you got the appointment. I'm kind of in the basketball portion of the trailblazer. The shorts that the women were wearing were so small, I felt like they were growing right out from their asshole. And instead of them dancing in their short shorts and doing this, and then this, and this, they could be telling us something about themselves. Yeah, you know, I just don't think most of our fans have any interest in anything outside of watching our players play basketball. Who gives a flying f about the fans? I just don't know how I'm supposed to help you today. We would love the opportunity to work with the Blazers dancers and uh, the way that they perform on the court. Oh, so you guys are choreographers. We're Imagineers. Okay, so can we make a deal? If I give you access to the dancers in a controlled environment, do you promise to never ever come here again?
Even as friends, we can't come and say hi. No, but you know what? What I can do is, why don't you take these official trailblazer caps? Thank you. And we'll go set up a meeting, okay? You look so good in that hat. I bet I do. I have a 10.30 appointment, a uh, tattoo removal appointment. Okay, we have you down the hallway to the left, room three. To removal artist. Hi, I'm Sandra. Thanks for choosing us. How can I help you today? Well, I have this um, tattoo that I wanted to get removed. Oh, wow. You see that? <laughs> um, what, you got, a, you got a soccer ball? Yeah, I just, I got it a long time ago. What, what do you got up here? Dolphins. Oh, you don't want that removed? Should I get it removed? I think you should remove it. Okay, I mean, if you think it would look better removed, I, I'm open to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm psyched about the dolphin one. That's gonna be good. Any other tattoos you want removed? I do have the name of my high school that I went to across my stomach. Ah, that's great! Stomach tattoo removal is, that was my first. Wow. I love that. Well, I'm flattered that you have taken a liking to my tattoos that you don't like. The rest of my career can be here, just working on you. Have you ever thought about getting any of your tattoos removed? How'd you know I had tattoos? I see them on your arms and neck. You see the ones on my neck? Well, you must have really sharp eyesight. I had those removed a while ago. I didn't even realize your tattoos were removed. I mean, my, my tattoos are gone. I used to have an onic. I still see it. What side of my neck is it on? It's to my left, but it's on. Ah, left, it's here. Why do you have the word Detroit on your knuckles? Do I know you from before? No. I actually did my own left hand, because I'm a righty. I mean, it looks like you've had a lot of tattoos removed all over your face, right? No, I've never had tattoos on my face. Oh, great. That's just my skin. So I see your skin, I see your body like, like a chalkboard. So it looks smudged. Oh, yeah. But that's what we do here. Look, that's some of our work. That took us, I'm really proud of that one. That one took us a while. I think it'll look pretty good. Hey, can I get another coffee? Do you have a dollar? Eating. Recreation. <laughs> Bathing. This number. Oh, I like that. I like the shoulders. <sighs> Made in Macau. I can't do that anymore. Those countries just make me think of like you know sweatshops or something. I just I wish I knew where my clothes were made and who was making them. Yeah. This is such a great decision. So we great. Just... Thanks. This is amazing. Yeah, I love making custom pieces. Yeah. It's the best. How many do you think you could do? Like if I ask for two shirts, is that crazy? It takes about a month. Oh. Because they're custom, you know. I mean, we get it. We're paying for the quality. Yeah. Cool. All right. Wow. Trish. Oh, hey. This looks great. Thanks. You know, I remember that I have a board meeting on Friday, and I would love to wear this. Do you think it's going to be ready? Um. And then there's my shirts, too. OK. So I don't know. So, like, soon? You need them? Yeah. I mean, yeah. How's it going along? It's great now that Amanda's here. Hi. Yeah. I'd love to get my table back. Um, I wonder if there's more space somewhere where I can kind of spread out a little bit. And... Oh, that's a great idea. I... OK, yeah. yeah. Hey, guys. Hello. Well, they love the shirt. It was a big hit. My friend Sharon wants one. My 
friend Linda, Amy. I, I want my shirts too. Can I get my? I'm, do you guys have like any refreshments or? It's oh. a little light. It's just a little hot. Uh, I can get you a cup of water. Okay. One yes, cup she... for you. One cup for your friend. Two cups. Great. Thanks, guys. Hi, Hi. guys. Sorry you were locked in. Uh, Malcolm's dentist appointment went a little long. It really numbed me up a little bit. Who is uh, who's that? I hope it's okay. I had to bring my friend Lois, um, and she couldn't find a sitter. Seems like those, those little hands would be great for buttons. Amanda messed up the shirt. She messed up? Uh, messed up? No, 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 she didn't mess up. She working Just, hard? Everyone's working hard. I want to make pants. So you work? We're going to work. We're going to work on your pants. Go home and get fed. OK, you can't. You... Looks great, I... though. I love the buttons. Hey, can we get some more water? You want a cup? Yeah, I would love a cup. Try one cup? Yeah. You want a cup? Four cup? Four, Four cups. cups. Chop, chop. Hey, everyone, stop. We've got great news. A real store put in an order for these clothes. So there's going to be a lot of things to make. So great. Our hard work paid off. So get back to work. You heard him, get to work! Hey, Kendra, made in Portland. Their workshop is very complete. How are you? Let's go. Stop the music. Stop the music. Stop for a moment. Hi. Drop the pom-poms. This is a safe space. And this is a new regime. I'm Tony. I'm Candace. You're in a space that is woman-centric. You're women. What that means is we mean it. And I saw you, you know, in this. And, you know, this is, I think, you want still is good. I, I love the dancing. It has a lot of energy, and I felt very moved by it. But I thought, who are these women? Read a book. Read a poem. Is there something you've been journaling? We can explore this on stage during halftime. And if any of those players come out onto the court and tell you to get off, you turn around and say, this is my court. 45 minutes, it doesn't matter. If the game stops, we wait. Your time will not be limited. Infinite. What can you tell us about yourself right now? I was born in Portland. I love pasta. I love salad. I love ice cream. I like summer. So you're the oppressor. You're the sort of old libraries of the past where they didn't like women reading. Five, six, seven, eight. And read, and read, and read. Resist, and read, resist, and read. If you could just hold a spotlight on her, like. Like this. And Madeline. So let's have you back here. So stare at her there. Just one of you sort of like this. Caroline, can you cry? Three of you sort of march past with a flag. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, Brittany, Andrea. Five, six, seven, eight, and turn, march, turn, march. And you, I want you to take this the right way. You go into another room. Just go over there. A room of one's own. They'll feel your absence. Lindsay, if you could do me a favor and just wildly, just, you're searching for what happened to my rights. We will not be having music. The sound of my voice will be the only sound we hear. She's gonna do a blood curdling scream and this is the centerpiece to it all. Five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Great job today. Remember, we have a home game coming up against the Clippers. We're going to win for feminism. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the second annual Can't Do It Without Your Help Kickstarter Film Awards. I know it's a mouthful. <laughs> I'm your host, Gus Van Sant. Just want to make sure you understand these are not the Kickstarter films. These are films 
made to generate donations to make the Kickstarter film. And the nominations are... Help us make a movie about a forgotten musician, Kendall Hughes and Wendy Alexander. Hi, I'm Kendall. And I'm Wendy. Have you ever heard of Talanu? Right, nobody has. He was one of the biggest stars out of Daytona Beach, Florida in the 1970s. But did you know he really influenced a lot of artists? Artists like Willie Mitchell. The Lulula sisters. Sam McGonigal. Dr. Melchior, just to name a few. Just a touch of love will be the key. We want to make documentaries about the other guys, not the guys you know. Because you think there's a reason that they were undiscovered, and there is. Invincible Love, Ebby and Christine. I got shipped off to North Dakota to work in the oil fields, and I'm missing my baby. I'm missing my Christine. I need somebody to help me out here. Well, he's in North Dakota, and you know traveling's really expensive right now, and I need airfare to get to him. I need to go see him. I miss you, baby. For $100, we'll add you to our email newsletter to let you know how Christine and I are doing. What you're funding by sending us money is you're funding love. I got this tattoo on our second date. Help us. Get us the money. Bring Christine out to North Dakota so that we can be back together again where we belong. I need your help real bad. Donation Blues, Sandra Paulson. Hi, I'm Sandra. This is my Kickstarter video to help me raise money so I can continue to contribute to other Kickstarter videos. I'm broke because I've contributed to so many Kickstarter projects for albums, for music videos, for a movie shot entirely on a kayak. What can I give you in return? For one project, I received the incentive of a cloth napkin. It was for a cat installation video. You can also get a walk-on roll because they haven't shot it yet and they need money for sound editing. So thanks for contributing. New Team Uniforms, Paul Allen. Hi, I'm Paul Allen, and I have an exciting new jersey design to share with you. I brought this idea to my financial advisors, and they said no, but I'm hoping you say yes. And the winner is... Invincible Love, Ebby and Christine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god, thanks for voting for us. Baby! Yeah! Yeah! Well, wow. you're, we like to thank yeah. a, well actually we didn't get the we haven't we didn't get the money for our Kickstarter, no, but not even close. You know what? We're gonna clean up next year too because we've got another one on the way. That's right. We wanna get money to build a hot tub. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks for coming, and uh, don't forget, uh, we can't do it without your help. And by it, I mean anything, whatever. Really good. Oh, I like how you sat down the whole time. Womenkind won tonight, feminism won. Nice pout. Yes, we did it. Look at that. We just walked into an office and just changed the world. Oh, those guys look kind of sad. Are they out there tonight? Maybe they're just bummed because the dancers got all the attention. It was a really great night for the dancers. If we can help those dancers, we can help the players. Why the sadness? I don't understand why you're down. That was great. That was unbelievable. We lost the game. Weren't those dancers amazing? So they lost, too, because we lost. We know where they were born. We know what their favorite pet is. We know what books they like. We know what razors they use. They read poetry at a basketball game. This whole game thing, I don't, I don't understand when this became a competition. That's the whole point. Tonight, the women won. And you know what? We are all women. Who are you? I'm Robin. Robin, tonight, you're not Robin. You're Robin Woman. You're Thomas Woman, LaMarcus Woman. It's Damien Lillard. Lillard. I'm not a woman. I'm a man. Oh, I don't agree with you. I just don't. 
What if, what if you guys came out with more than one ball? Wouldn't that be confusing? And then it would be a truly memorable game? I don't think that's allowed. That's against the rules. You know what you do about rules? Throw them out. If we followed the rules, women would have never had the right to vote. Who made the rules anyway? The National Basketball Association made the Instead rules. Instead of basketball, blazer ball. You act like you're on the other team so that they think that you're their friend. You put on a mustache and a hat. You put on your hat like you're going home, like, oh, I'm done. OK, guys, I'm going home. Get your briefcase. I'm going home. Come back, grab that ball, and you actually are in the game. So the other team's so confused. It's not going to work. You guys don't think I know anything about basketball? She, she dated one of the players. Who? Tell him you dated someone on the Bulls, the Chicago the Bulls. The Chicago Bulls. You might have heard of him, Michael Jordan. Cup in Chicago when I was there, and he took me to dinner. Michael Jordan took you out to dinner. It was just the two of us. We ate fish. Guess who paid for it? You. Nope. Mr. Michael M. Jordan. M. Michael Michael Jordan. It's Jeffrey Jordan. Heavy set man, beard, gray beard. 5'7", Birkenstocks. Yellow backpack, a thermos for some reason. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. Did he have a hoop earring? No, there was so much hair here that it was just sort of look like little headphones, like a hair of headphones over his... Where did you meet this guy? Union Station in Chicago. Why would Michael Jordan be at Union Station? He said he lived there. That was not Michael Jordan. Well, I got some free fish, so... Anyway, it doesn't matter. He told me something. You know what's important? Dunking. The first thing you do is you dunk right, right away. So the other team's like, what just happened? You start here, you go into the air, and down into the basket. I think that's flying. We're begging you to dunk more. Please. We want to see a game of all dunking. That's every play. I mean, we can't waste our time if you don't want to just dunk it. Dunk. 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 Come on, stand up. Get dunk. on your feet. Dunk. 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 Tony, look at this. Portland Trailblazers win big by dunking the entire game. Let's look at these pictures. Wow. They're either dunking or getting ready to dunk. You know, people called me Air Tony in high school. Ever heard of Talanu? Right. No one has. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but did you know he really influenced a lot of artists? Artists like Willie Mitchell. Devin Stevens. <laughs> Paula Pope. <laughs> the Lalula sisters. <laughs> this is the worst movie.